I'm Mike Rooney. We're here at Art of the Carolinas. I'm going to do a free art lesson on how to draw and paint cars. They're really not that hard if you just break them down into their basic shapes. Uh, a, a car is basically just a square with another square on top of it and the windshield is slanted and usually they slant the back depending on if it's an SUV or a coupe or what kind of car it is. But basically it's that, it's that rectangle. Uh, I'll show you. Basically it's a rectangle like so with another rectangle on top of it and depending on what kind of car it is, whether it's boxy or whether it's not, is determines what kind of car it is. Okay, So you can see that a car is basically a set of boxes. So there's a box, there's a box, and then all you do is change the front end. Most of the front ends have a bumper. Okay, let's say, let's say this is a minivan or one of those short minivans. All right, it's going to have a back window like that. And all you do is just start rounding it off. You know, it's, it's squares, but then you take them and you round them off to, to determine what kind of car it is. Now, there was some kind of ratio. I'm not sure what it was, but you can pretty well figure out where the, where the uh, tires go. The tires are, are not going to be too close together. These might actually be a little too close together. It would probably be right here to right here. You don't want the, 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 the wheel wells to be too close together. So we're going to go ahead and paint the car or this little minivan thing. It's a little SUV, a little crossover. There you go. It's a little crossover vehicle. I'm going to have me one of these one day. Okay, let's go ahead and just put the tires in. Usually the tires are, this, this, this part is usually halfway through the tires. So, you know, if you can come up with a standard, like draw a couple of these in your sketchbook and just draw some out of magazines and stuff, see how the, how the bottom line of the, of the rectangle goes through the middle of the car. If you draw it way up here or way down here, it won't look right. So basically it looks like that. All right, then you would have the other side of the tires there. Always remember your perspective. We're looking at it kind of, we're at the back end. Here's the perspective. There's the perspective on the top. So we would take the top and make the top and go ahead and fill this in. Now, you know, a lot of times when you're out painting plein air, you need to fake in some cars. You know, you can ba just basically fake in some blocks. You know, I've, I've just painted really simple blocks before and kind of rounded a few shapes and always make that windshield slanted. You know, that makes it look like a car when the windshield is slanted and always darken in the windows. Almost all the new windows these days are kind of tinted. So if you'll darken them in, it'll look, it'll look real. See how when I darken those windows in, how, they, how it looks real? Because most of the windows now are tinted. So if you darken them in, you can kind of fake them in. But look, look how fast it is to paint a car. If you just remember it as being a box on top of a box and following your lines of perspective. Now, let's say I had drawn this box. All right, I had a box uh, like that. And I had another box on top. And let's say that this is the, the body of the car. It doesn't really look like anything until you put these in. I tell you, I've been out painting on the street before and all I got to do is put these two things in and automatically you know what it is. You know it's a car. The fact that it has this dark windshield, the fact that it has a dark windshield on the, on the sides and on the, and on the back already tells you that's a car, doesn't it? And if you make a light look like a little place for a license plate and you make a couple tires, that's all you need when you're outside plein air painting is just to remember to make a little box with a box on top, a couple little headlights. If it was from the front, you'd have the headlights on it. Here's where the headlights would be. You'd have a mirror right here. The mirror's always right here. Once you get the body of it drawn in, it's really, really easy to go ahead and put on the accessories. You want to have a little wind scoop on it, whatnot, have some hanging dice, whatever you need. But you see how easy it is to do a car. So I hope you enjoyed that free art lesson. If you'd like to see more of my work, please go to microoonystudios.blogspot.com.